Let's start with the cylinder shape. If we flatten out a cylinder, we can see that it consists of two identical circles and a rectangle. The circles form the ends of the cylinder and the rectangle wraps around the circumference of the cylinder, forming a curved surface. The formula for calculating the surface area incorporates these three shapes. First, we need to establish the area of the two identical circles. As you already know, the formula for calculating the area of a circle is pi times r squared. But because there are two circles in a cylinder, we adjust the formula, so it becomes 2 times pi r squared. Now, the rectangle has a length of 2 times pi r because its length is equivalent to the circumference of the circle. r, of course, is the radius of the circle. The height of the rectangle is whatever the labelled height of the cylinder is. Our formula now looks like this. 2 times pi times r squared plus 2 times pi times r times h. Let's apply the formula and calculate the surface area of this cylinder. The cylinder has a labelled radius of 2 centimetres and a height of 6 centimetres. If we transfer these measurements into the formula, we have 2 times pi times 2 squared plus 2 times pi times 2 times 6. This gives us 2 times 3.14 times 4 plus 2 times 3.14 times 2 times 6. Work this out on the calculator and we get 25.12 plus 75.36, which equals 100.5 centimetres squared. Remember, we're still working with area, so the final answer must be shown in square units.